In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we have come to crown this image of Mary, Mother of God, and of her Son, Jesus. This ceremony reminds us that the greatest in the kingdom are those who serve with love. Our Lord has come to serve and not to be served. And Our Lady was the humble servant of the Lord when she was on earth. Now in the glory of heaven, she is still the God-bearer who cares about our salvation. She is the minister of holiness and the Queen of Love. Let us take a moment and place ourselves in the presence of our Lord and in the presence of our Blessed Mother. And let us pray. O oh God, since you have given us Mary, the mother of your son, to be our mother and our queen, Grant that we who crown her image may attain the glory of your children in heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven opened, and in the temple could be seen the Ark of his Covenant. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Because she was with child, she wailed aloud in pain, as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge dragon, flaming red, with seven heads and ten horns. On his heads were seven diadems. His tail swept a third of the stars from the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman, about to give birth ready to devour her child when it should be born. She gave birth to a son, a boy destined to be shepherd all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert, where a special place had been prepared for her by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. response is, my heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. As Hannah worshipped the Lord, she said, my heart is exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in, in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. The bowels of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with the nobles, and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. 
But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. And he will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. With that, the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we have the tradition of the crowning of our Blessed Mother during the month of May and our, at Our Lady of Port Richmond School and in all of the, the, the history of our parish and all the different times that we've had May processions and crownings of the Blessed Mother, I'm pretty sure we've never had anyone like this. This is really unique. But the thing is that we can't be 100% sure because this is not the first time in, in our neighborhood, not the first time among our churches that we've been through a pandemic. A hundred years ago, our ancestors went through something very similar, and they suffered a lot. And what did they do as they went through? Well, they didn't have Zoom, and they didn't have Facebook, and they didn't have any of that to stay connected. But what they did have is their faith, what they did have was their love for one another, and what they did have was trust in our Blessed Mother. And even though we are doing our May crowning like it's never been done before, we're still doing it with the same heart and the same spirit that has happened so many times before. Natalia takes her place as the May Queen in a long line of girls who have gone before her, who have honored our Blessed Mother and reminded us to, to consecrate ourselves to her, to trust in her, and to believe that through her and the power of her son, we can get through these really difficult days.
act of consecration, Mother of the Redeemer, I will love you, I will honor you, all the days of my life. Blessed Mother, help me to know my Redeemer better, to love him more, to be more like him. Immaculate Mother of God, pray for me now and at the hour of my death. Amen. I'm so grateful to our eighth grade for, uh, for this ceremony of the crowning of our Blessed Mother. You know, I've been so impressed with them, the way they've handled themselves for the past couple of months. It's been very disappointing for them, for us too, but, but really for them. They've missed so many things that, that we had planned for them that were really special. And yet what impresses me so much about them is that when it came time for them to come together and to be able to honor our Blessed Mother. They did so, so willingly and so beautifully. I'm grateful to them. I'm grateful to Sister Mary and I'm grateful to all of the, the teachers and the staff at Our Lady of Port Richmond who made these eighth graders who they are today. And I'm grateful to their parents who have entrusted them to us and, and, and have given, us, given them to us so that they can grow in their faith. Thank you, one and all. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Today, the class of 2020 consecrates ourselves to the Blessed Mother as our gift to the community of Our Lady of Port Richmond School and St. John Paul Parish. We pray for an end to the coronavirus and for safety and well-being of all of our family. May this decade of the rosary, formed with balloons, serve as a symbol of the promise of our prayers to Mary for the safety of all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of you, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.